Treats are in. I got a new ignition coil for my CDI uh, cause that other one was burnt out. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire this thing in. Uh, I'll spin it up to make sure I'm getting some power from it. Um, as soon as I verify that, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and sort out these wires and make sure I'm getting a spark. So, um, so stick around, this is the last thing I need to do before I start this stinking thing. Here we go. Guess it was over before it started. I was never meant for broken hearted and the world still spins the same sans you. All right, we'll put the stator back on. I'm gonna go ahead and set the timing. I think this time I'm going to set the timing a bit lower than I did last time. Last time I had it at one and a half millimeters before. I'm going to do about 1.2 or, you know, between 1.2, 1.3. That's just from stuff I've been reading on the internet. So I don't have any empirical evidence to suggest doing that except what I read on the internet. But I'm going to do it this time. I love this homemade tool. This thing is awesome. I did do a bit of modifications on it. I welded that top washer on so that it's it's nice and sturdy all the time. And um, and I made it so I can use my, my wrench on it, my wrench fits now, so I can get it nice and tight in there. I wish you could see me now that it's over with my Here's the test. We got the black into the ground. This is our new wire to our new um, our new ignition coil. Got that riled up. Here's our multimeter. Please give us some action. Ho 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 Did you see that? That's a good thing. Alright, we're back in action. Now I just gotta wire all these things back up. Hot damn. The reason my ignition coil burnt out was because I was using a, an extra spark plug wire that I had from my MG restoration. Um, these mopeds, any small engine really, their spark plug wires need to be no resistance, very low resistance spark plug wires. Um, and uh, that one wasn't. So I bought a brand new spark plug wire. I'm going to put it into my coil and uh, hook my coil up, check the spark, and if that's good, I'm going to go ahead and seal up all this wiring and then, uh, and then start the engine. Let's see a spark. Come on, Lucky. Oh, 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 that's a good spark. Oh, that's nice and fat. Oh, that's a good spark. Okay, 
Now I gotta just fix all this up, and then we're starting up. just too much compression. As soon as I let go of the decomp, I can't pedal fast enough to get the, I can't even get the engine to turn over. CDI. I'm gonna spin it up. Hopefully that gets me the spark I need to get it going. There it goes.
right, so I exploded some gas. I'm happy. I let it run for about 45 minutes. Um, I just varied the RPMs here and there just to kind of break in the kit. I have a little infrared thermometer I was keeping on the head to see what kind of temperatures I was getting. I got up to 279 degrees. So I think that's all right. Actually, I think that might mean that I'm running a little uh, rich. And I'm, I'm not sure though, I have to look that up. I think that means I'm running rich and I need to lean it out a little bit. I think you want those temperatures to be 300, 320, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm gonna look that up. I was gonna try to get this video out tomorrow um, and I still might, but it's supposed to be pouring rain all day tomorrow. And before I get the video out, I wanna take her for a ride on the street and film it and uh, and get a speed, uh, the important thing. I wanna see how fast she is. So, we'll see how that goes tomorrow. If, it's, if it lightens up a little bit, I'll, I'll take her out, I'll, I'll get a speed, but um, either way, I think there's gonna have to be another episode because I've gotta fix that clutch. I don't wanna finish the series until she's perfect. So I don't know what that means fixing the clutch, replacing the clutch, adding a pull start. Um, I don't really know. I don't want to lug a, a drill around with me everywhere I go, so I need to figure out uh, some way to get her started um, that doesn't require a drill. Hey, did you ever see the movie Castaway? when they cut away from uh, Tom Hanks for five years and came back and he had a big full ass beard. Well, I don't have a beard, but I do have a sweet ass mustache. Uh, and it hasn't been five years, but it has been two weeks since I filmed what you last watched. Um, I came back the next day uh, to ride it and it was pouring rain. Uh, the day after we left for vacation, so I spent a week up at the lake and then I came home and I immediately had to leave to travel for work uh, and go to Baltimore to see uh, the greatest rock and roll band in the world, Guided by Voices. Um, but now I'm back and uh, I mean to ride this thing right now. It's been raining outside, but it's cleared up a bit. So I'm going to get her on the road. I'm going to ride the heck out of her. I'm going to get a speed and then I'll come back here. Let's do it. She's riding well, and uh, she stalled about a mile away, and I started her up with the pedals. So, uh, so I might be fixing something here, I'm not sure. I'm gonna ride her a few more times to see if that clutch sorts itself out. But yeah, started it with the pedals and not with the drill. Oh, I'm not saying it's fixed, but I'm saying I'm getting there. All right, speed. The speedometer, I got it up to 70 kilometers per hour, uh, or almost, near enough. She still had more to go. I didn't want to take her on any of the main roads because I don't have tags for her. I'm going to do that tomorrow or the next day. Um, but on the short roads that I do have that are right around here, I got her up to 70 kilometers per hour, which is like 43 miles per hour. I also have this GPS thing that's on my phone um, and it said, let's see if you can see that, 
uh, 41.5 miles per hour. Um, she still has some to go. That was, that was on about a half mile stretch that I got her up to the highest point. I think if I would have had another quarter mile or so, I would have uh, topped her out and I'm guessing, I'm guessing what my original guess was, 45 miles an hour. Um, I'll find that out soon enough. But for now, I think this episode is done. I'm going to get this up and then um, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to sort the clutch. I'm going to get tags on her. I'm going to take her out on a real road and get a real speed and, uh, and finish all the little fiddling things I have to do on her and then I'm going to call her done. But anyway, this one's done. Thanks for watching. Sorry it took so long to put it out. Next one hopefully won't be as long and uh, fantastic.